All right, so it's about 28 degrees out here. Gotta get the chores done, gotta run to town, gotta get some things. I'm looking at my little birdies over here on the feeders, just eating all their food and flying by me. So let's get this day started. Okay, so we're gonna head back here to take care of the quail. Right now they're the only farm animals that I have to take care of in the morning. And then when I get back from work, today's Saturday, so I'm doing it in the daylight. On the weekends, on Sa Monday through Friday, when it freezes, I have to come out here at four o'clock in the morning, change their water and everything before I go to work. But today, I gotta let, wait till the sun come up. So let's head over and take care of the quail. Hey everybody. So we're back here at the quail. Let me get these out here. I've got their water right now, the jugs of Jesus water that you guys see me get from over at the spring. Got it in the workshop, trying to keep it from freezing. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to put it up in the front room of the camper, cabin, whatever you wanna call it now. I, you guys probably saw me coming out there and oh gosh, she's got a cabin. Well, it's not really the cabin, it isn't the cabin we're gonna have, but it is, I, I call it my little camper cabin. We put a room on the front of the camper I'll show you a picture here. It looks like a little cabin now. It's got a nice deck and porch that goes all the way around it. The front room's totally insulated. We haven't knocked out the wall yet. Between the camper and that room. But when it gets down to like 12 degrees outside, it's so well insulated and everything. I got a thermostat in there. It only gets down to 50 in that room. So obviously once we open it up, we start heating it and everybody's coming down. The wind has been terrible. So sorry about that. This is, these are my cameras. As you guys know, for the scene. I do have cameras out here on my quail. I just like seeing what they're up to. And I'm sure you guys are going through it too. We had some terrible winds the last few days. Um, today, they're probably gusting up maybe 10 to 15 miles an hour. The trees are swaying everywhere. But the quail are doing great. Um, for those of you new here, I'm raising Capornix quail. I have hens up here, roosters down here, hens over there, and roosters up there. They are you know, the roosters are isolated. I've got them separated because the roosters were tearing up my hens and not for breed purposes. They were just brutally scalping them and being brute. So I had a couple. I have one up here that I had to take in and one down here. Actually, yeah, this one. The one you, I don't know if you can see her or not. She's right in front. That's Loretta. And this pin down here, we got Loretta and Patsy. Two of my favorite country singers. And up here is Holly, Pearl, and Rose. Holly, you can see her flapping right there. She's the one that we hatched here on the homestead. The rest we did get when they were like three days old because as you know, ours didn't hatch great. So we have Holly and then the other girls. Um, usually, like I said, I got the water there. Usually I'll just come out first thing in the morning and grab their water out of here when it's freezing days. And I just swap them out. Um, I do like to keep them overnight in the camper and I put them right in front of the heater. So when I bring them out here, they're actually steaming a little bit. They're real nice and warm. So the girls love that. I also have been taking their um, feed and mixing with water, warm water, and letting it sit in the camper and bring it out here. They really like that. It extends the food too. This, let me see if I can catch her. Where are you going? Come here. Come here, Patsy. Ah. This is my Patsy and She's one that we had to take care of. Uh, she's a sweetheart. She always comes up and talks to me and plays with me anytime I open the pen up and get in there for water. And then when I open the other side, she runs around to the other side. So she's a little sweetie. So let me put her back in. And I think she's our other jumbo. I know Holly's a jumbo. The rest are just regular sized quail. And I don't think Loretta wants to come out, but I do have I mean, it's a mess right now because I haven't cleaned it this week. But I like to keep the water up high so they're not getting any of their scraps and their food in here uh, in it. So usually I just come out, grab their water, dump it, dump out the nastiness, put it back here because I'm going to wash those today. And then a brand new clean water, put it in. I pass the out here again. Get that going. Get their feeder out. I'm going to do all their feeders at the end. So I'll just put these over over here so I can do those once I'm done. 
but it's not it's not hard in the mornings when it's dark out here i'm looking around thinking okay where's the coyotes because i can hear them I hear them howling in the distance and i'm thinking someone's over here but we did put these little clips on here okay because well hi there the rest is flying around the raccoons and other animals can actually flip these up and get smart enough to open it up the little carabiner on there and they can't do that so that's what those are for get everybody out sometimes i'll just do when they're only half that half empty i won't refill them but when it's cold like this i like to keep them full and let them keep eating because the more they eat they keep their body temperature up and that just keeps them warmer but, uh, and as you can see this one has a ring of ice still on it from this morning so that's why we got guys to take care of Roosters aren't really that bad. I just don't want to put them up against because I don't want to take any chances. These three get along great. And the two up there get along great. I do have my two on death row. I shouldn't say death row. I got two of them in the brooder in there, separated with a little screen between them. They're going to freezer camp. They're going to freezer camp for the smoker or the slow cooker real soon because I'm not going to tolerate the way they've been treating girls. And up here, hi Holly and Pearl. The rose. She's in the condo. Yep, yours is frozen too. I'm working on it. So when I'm out here, I just clip those over. I don't have to use the carabiners because I'm going nowhere. As you can see, this one's got ice too. So these all have to go in and be washed today. You want some fresh water, babies? If you haven't seen before, pictures or whatever, you have a little area over here called the condo. It has a little sand bath in it for them to play in and pull a straw. We're gonna take that straw out today and put new in there because it's really masked down. I don't want to put fresh in it because it's so cold. So let's see, we need one more water or where am I missing the water? You got water, you got water, you got water. Oh, I didn't do there's a here. I was really concerned about the pool getting cold, but they're very hardy. I mean, that's the first time I've raised them. I'm no expert by any means. But everything I've read, every all the videos that I've watched on YouTube and everything, they're very hard, hardy. They can go down to like maybe 19, 20 degrees. I don't like that for them. I feel bad for them. <laughs> Just because, especially my hens. And hold on, boys. What you guys have in front of you? Actually, I think I filled that food last night. See, you're good on food. Get fresh water. You guys are done, so I can read do yours. And for those of you new here and you haven't seen the quail hutch before, they have these little boxes that are on the front. They're just egg rollout boxes. Usually, my hens don't lay until the afternoon or late evening, so there's probably nothing in here. Yes. Nope. No eggs. They are starting, I've noticed, especially in the roosters, they're starting to molt. So I think the girls are going to start molting too. I've been getting seven eggs a day. I have uh, three hens there, four hens here, so I'm getting an egg a day. But I have been using supplemental lighting. I put up Christmas lights across here and across here. And they've been laying every day for me. I saw in the last couple of days they've slowed down a little bit. So I think they, I think I'm going to just take the light off. Let them go into their natural state and they can stop laying for a while until spring and make sure they get nice and healthy again and i'm just, I'm just watching the red and pats it she's watching me you want to see what i'm up to but that way they can start laying again in the spring so now let's do the feeders and i don't keep this out here all the time this is only out here when i'm bring it out from the inside in the workshop because i know if i leave that out here the raccoon's going to get it. So let me grab. What I've been doing is those little devils waste enough food. Because when I open this up, I just opened it up over here. That way any of it 
might come out will fall back in there. And I'm using a 17% layer crumble. Um, you want 17% to 21% for adults laying. So that's what I'm using for them. And just flip it over. And the extra just rolls right back in. I was using a lot of the glass. I think I still have one glass feeder up in the top right, but when it's cold like this, I think I'm all back to plastic. So I don't want shattering. So let me get these filled and I'll be right back. some wood down here and branches that I put in here so they can lay around them and play in them. They like to hide underneath some of them, the bigger ones. I got tired of stretching so I'm going to go to school. Take care of these girls. I don't know if Holly will let me bring her out. There she goes. My girl. This is my Holly. These pretty white wings. This is the only one we hatched on our land. She is such a sweetheart. So she is a jumbo and she's going to stay around. She's not going to freezer camp. She's one of our babies. So let's put her back in. Sure. All right, everybody's got feed. Everybody's got water, one, two, three, four, everybody's done. Those are all going back up to the camper, so those are gonna get washed today. Now I'm gonna go get some straw. Actually, first, let me get my wheelbarrow. Get this out of the way. We're gonna clean out their cubbies. Now, if you don't know it, my compost bin is right over here. My garden's right here, so all of their waste and everything goes in here, compost bin, and in the spring next year, probably, late fall next year, I can use it in the garden. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just clean it out and then we'll get fresh. Hey, buddy. Fresh straw. And 
And I'm not going to pat it down. I'll leave it like that. Sometimes they like to burrow into it, make a little cave nest for themselves. I just slide the sand back in. And Rue Condo number one is done. Now the top ones are a little bit harder because it's going to fall down on top of my cake bin. Look out, Pearl. Look out, Pearl. And there is some sand in this because the sandbox is in there. So we do get a little sand in it, which is no big deal. We grab theirs. So they keep it dry. Okay, Holly, you gotta move on, girl. Thank you. Next. Oh. I lied. They are starting early in the, in the day. So I was out here last night and there wasn't any. This is our quail eggs. As you can see, they're about third the size of a regular egg. They're delicious. I've probably got about four dozen of them in the camper. I'm gonna boil them today and make some pickled eggs. But that one's going in for me. Somebody's paying their rent. Which one of you girls left me that little gift? I know I'm making a little bit of a mess with the straw, but literally yesterday, after I'd set that up there, I saw some birds coming and picking it up. So I'm helping the wildlife too. They're making their little winter houses. So I don't mind that. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me grab some. There's a lot of feathers in the roosters right now. So they're the first ones I've noticed that are starting to molt. So that's why I'm assuming it's probably a good time just let them stop laying, stop the supplemental lighting. Uh. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> you already in there looking around. Okay, so like I did earlier, one, two, three, four, count every time, one, two, three, four, make sure they're all locked, so the critters don't get them. One, two, uh, three, you let me check in here, make sure these girls haven't left me, pay their rent. Nope. This year I only got four eggs, so I know they're going down a little bit. Light and the temperature well this goes underneath which box this box no this box i put a little piece of wood on to kind of keep it more level okay one two three four one two three four one two three okay so everybody's feed fed and watered if i was standing here talking to y'all and taking my time that'd have been a lot faster i can go back here in about five minutes and change out the waters because like i said i keep i'm gonna take those up uh, and wash them out in the camper fill them with water i don't put the uh bottoms on them i use my plastic ball canister lids and they fit right on top so once i fill them up i just cover them like that i leave the red trays back here so in the morning all i gotta do is come back here and do this put it on and go and pin so now I'm going to put everything cleaned up. Take this over to the compost bin. I'll be right back.
Okay, the quail are all done. Oh, Patsy's up here in front. She wants more loving. She's always up here. But I'm gonna go get in the truck. I gotta go get some gasoline for one of our generators. We have the solar generator, which don't need gasoline, but we have a backup that does propane or gasoline and fills the rest of the Jesus water bottles and seven gallon containers. I'm trying to think of everything I need. Our propane's all, tanks are already topped off. So we have those, so I'm just gonna clean up this stuff when I get back, because I wanna check on them again, see if they left me any more eggs. And we're gonna head into town, let's go. So first off, we're gonna go down here and get the Jesus water, so us and the quail and Brody have some water. got Jesus water done so the next stop is taking out the trash and of course most y'all just take it down to the end of your driveway I gotta take it a little ways so let's get going Okay, so now I'm gonna stop over here at the big box store, you know, the blue one, not the orange one, and get some things that we need because it's gonna be in the teens this week. So 
So I gotta put heaters in the IBC totes in the back that we have filled with water, keep them from freezing. So I'd get an extension cord and a three prong adapter. So let's go finish up. Drive me crazy, don't put these up. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, got my water, got gas, took the trash. Quick stop at Lowe's. Is that everything I did today? I think so. So I'm just gonna walk back here now and check on the quail and see what they're doing. I hope you guys have a blessed day, blessed weekend. Stay warm. If you're anywhere close to here, we're gonna possibly get one to five inches of snow on starting Monday afternoon into Tuesday. We're not even gonna, we're not gonna get out of the freezing range, below freezing until I think Thursday. So, probably won't be doing many videos out here. But I'll try to get in the kitchen and cook you guys up something. So until next time, y'all take care. God bless and love y'all. Bye-bye.